Hello, beautiful friends, and I am here with a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. This reading could resonate with anyone who has Scorpio strongly in their chart. Um, but again, we're all different ages. We all live in different places all around the world, and um, we are going through different kinds of experiences. So there's not, there is no way that all Scorpio people could be living the same life template. It's just not possible. So um, this reading will not resonate with, with some of you, um, but hopefully there is um, something here in this reading that can help you as you move for, as you move forward in your travels. Um, Scorpio, um, I welcome you into this space. It is a pleasure for me to have you here. Um, I welcome you just as you are in this moment. And I hope that um, we bring something here for you that helps. Um, what is a current energy for this group of Scorpios, please? What is a current energy? What is this group of Scorpios currently experiencing? What is this group of Scorpios currently experiencing, please, Spirit? What is this group of Scorpios currently experiencing? What is this group of Scorpios currently experiencing? I feel like it needs to be the lights a little bright on that. All right, let's look at what Scorpio will be stepping into in the next immediate time frame. Scorpio will be stepping into in the next immediate time frame, the next seven to ten days or the next two weeks, the next three weeks, whatever the next immediate time frame is for your speed of your wave of energy. Card came in kind of sideways. What is Scorpio stepping into in the next immediate upcoming energy? Next immediate upcoming energy. What is Scorpio stepping into? What is Scorpio stepping into? It's coming in for Scorpio. Guidance, please, for this group of Scorpio people. Guidance, please, for this group of Scorpios. Scorpio, this is the Wheel of Fortune deck. The Wheel of Fortune. Guidance, please. Guidance, please. Take it. Alright. Let's get into these energies here. Scorpio, um, I think for this group of you, you're you're currently dealing with a kind of an invasion into your space, invasion into your way of thinking, invasion into maybe even into your life somehow. There seems to be some sort of invasion into your space, in, invasion into your relationship or invasion into your home, invasion into your workplace or into your duties, um, even into your life. This could be around gossip or around... Um, just people getting into your space. Um, but what I think is happening, you could be a person that's around a lot of people. And sometimes when we're around a lot of people, when we're used to being around a lot of people, we're used to having that kind of a clan mindset, um, or maybe this is in the workplace where people are 
getting into groups of people. Sometimes when we have groups of people, it can be fun. Look how the King of Swords is over the top of the Three of Cups. We have the Three of Cups here. We have the King of Swords lateral. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So sometimes when we have um, too much closeness with people or we share too much information or we give people too many details or people seem to know too much about us, um, we can really form a lot of judgments about, around people. There can be judgments formed around money. There can be judgments formed around relationships, around preferences, around um, lifestyles. There can be lots of judgments formed. And I do feel like there could be some sort of a judgment here or some kind of judging energy. Um, something here that makes me feel very uneasy. It makes me feel slightly violated. Like I want to fight off something. I want to fight against something. I want to... This King of Swords and the ladder over the Three of Cups is very uneasy energy. Um, so it looks like you're getting, you're you're coming into an understanding about this. Um, you're you're starting to see the big picture of what's caused this. And there could be somebody that is coming into a marriage or disrupting some sort of intimate relationship, or there could be some sort of group at work that you're dealing with, or even within the family or within the community that. You feel like they're closing in too tightly. They maybe know too much or how do they know that? Or they might want to know too much. It could be around an Aquarius, could be around an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a feminine. It could be around a um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, feminine energy. Um, they don't have to be males or females. They're, both of these energies are feminine type energies. They're in, internal energies. Um, I feel like Scorpio... I feel like you're this queen of wands. Well, you're either one or the two. Logically, intuitively, intuitively, when I went into this energy, I felt like you were the queen of wands. Now, logically, you could be the queen of swords because the queen of swords, if you're talking about Aquarius or, oh, that's more of an Aquarius energy. Aquarius can kind of match with Scorpio in a way um, with the analytical, the overthinking. Um, but I, I feel for most of you are the queen of wands. And I, I think that you have... Um, you are starting to create some kind of an idea, some kind of clarity around what this invasion is, how it happened, who's involved, what's going on. And you are about to make some sort of a de decision, I feel. I feel like there's a decision looming. Um, I don't think the King of Swords is quite ready to make a decision yet. Um, this King of Swords would be upright when it's time for you to make a decision. See how, did you feel like the energy changed? So there's some there's something here that you're still working together. There's something here that you're still working together, but you're in the process of, of building a bigger picture or a higher understanding or an, or an overall understanding of what this Three of Cups energy is. Um, normally, the Three of Cups is an energy of union, partying, celebration, getting together with friends. But with this King of Swords over the top and lateral, it just adds this kind of it's an uneasy energy. There could be some something happening in the community around you or at your workplace or in your family that you're just having an uneasiness about and you're working to gather information um, to, to learn what the truth is, to make sure that you're actually onto something. Maybe nothing is happening, but you seem to have this sense that there is something happening and you're working here to get the bigger sense of this. Now, I like that it's a King of Swords. Now, what's interesting is you have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Sorry, guys, it took me a while to realize that. Well, the King of Swords is in the lateral. When the energies are lateral or reverse, it really slows my process down. It twists up the energy for me. So th there could be um, a spouse here involved in this or an intimate partner involved in this or a co-worker, somebody that you work really closely with, um, a, a business partner or just a close friend. Um, the, these are counterpart energies and we don't have to be counterparts just with our spouses or our, or our intimate partners. We can be counterparts um, with co-workers, with we could even be counterpart businesses where we have, we have, we're businesses that work together. It's a counterpart energy and the energy can 
um, swirl around and be involved with all different kinds of partnerships. But it's a partnership that's perfect for each other. It's a partnership that works really well. So if we're talking about a partnership here or a couple or people that are working very closely together, they have the yin and the yang energy. They have different personalities. And those personalities brings forward some sort um, of a um, perfection. Um, like the chariot energy, there's perfection in the two personalities. It, it, they can swirl together and become one energy, one unfaltering force, right? So there could be something here with a partner or a good friend of yours or something here that you're beginning to see the bigger picture about. Now, I don't necessarily think that it is a terribly bad thing. It doesn't have to be a terribly bad thing. Um, but you are definitely in the Queen of Wands energy. So um, I think that you're feeling confident. You understand who you are. You understand what your what your superpowers are and what your weaknesses are. And you're moving forward um, in your life in a way um, where you're feeling passionate. You're feeling excited about life. Um, you, you're, your fire is burning very brightly within you. So you have a lot of attractive energy. You could be very successful right now doing something. Um, there could be people that could be jealous of you, perhaps, um, because the Queen of Wands is a very empowered, um, passionate energy. There's a lot of beauty that surrounds the Queen of Wands. There's a lot of sexual energy that can surround her. And she can really attract attention because um, not so much in how she looks outwardly, because but sometimes it is. But it's really what it, what it, it is, is her inward flame. So you don't even have to um, really fit in with mainstream, um, mainstream attractiveness, whatever your culture deems as attractive. But you, because of this passion and this flame within you, you have a certain attractiveness that really you can't really put a finger on. You don't really know what it is, but it's powerful, it's attractive, and it will pull people to you. So you're very charismatic at this point in time. I see that you have this desire, this interest in being very individually independent. So you're, you're in this Knight of Pentacles energy. You could be um, e experiencing a lot of success in what you're doing. We have the Nine of Pentacles here. So you could be really reaping rewards from all of your hard work. Um, you could be making very strong choices in your life that is g gaining you um, access to wealth and abundance. And um, you're you're probably able to be financially re reliant on yourself where you you have this sense of independence, this sense of individual choice. You you are like a very empowered person, the Queen of Wands is. We do see a, a Queen of Swords here. Now this Queen of Swords just, I mean, I know the picture is cold. Sometimes when I look at the Queen of Swords, um, I'm definitely on her side in this deck. In this deck, oh, that energy is, pre is pretty stirring. So there's somebody here that's not happy probably not happy about this independence, probably not happy about um, the choices that you're making or something that you're doing. See the colors are very similar in these two cards and see the colors are very similar in these two cards. So there's something here that's going on connected to this three of cups connected in with what you're doing that somebody is not liking or somebody is getting involved in some way that is really making you take a step back and take stock of this and try to figure out what's going on here. Ace of Cups. This could be a love situation. See, the colors are still blue here. Could be a love situation. There, This could be two people dealing with some kind of love situation. Four of Cups, not liking a love situation, not liking how much love you have in your life, not liking how much um, you're in love with someone or some kind of a love affair going on with you. There's something here with the Four of Cups and the Ace of Cups connected to the Queen of Swords. So there is something here with this situation um, that this person is not liking. Now, you could be someone who's somehow involved with this couple with this pair, but I do feel like this is probably you here. You could be the Queen of Swords, though. It's up to you to really kind of take this reading. These characters can be flip-flopped. You always hear readers saying that, and sometimes I forget to say that. So characters can be flip-flopped. So maybe there's a couple here that you're getting in the middle of or some sort of dynamic between the both of you. All I'm saying is there's a lot of people here 
or at least three people here um, for this group of Scorpio people, and it could be messy. It could be messy. Um, Scorpio, I feel like you're the queen of wands, and I feel like you're very independent. You're making your own choices. You're very attractive. Um, you are strong. You you have that inner fire that calls people's names, and you that fire shines out of your eyes, and it's in the voice and the way you talk, um, the way you dress. It's It's just a very empowered person, whether you are a man or a woman, and you have this sense of freedom, this sense of individual choice you you do what you wish and you you're you're doing fine financially there's some queen there's somebody here it could be a libra aquarius or gemini who something about this love and you could just have a general love of life you could be doing something that you absolutely love but there is some sort of community intrusion or another person intruding or you intruding there's some kind of messiness here this queen of swords person is not happy about this inspiration this love whatever is whatever is blossoming here the ace of cups is a new love energy brand new love new love offer new love something new in love and it doesn't have to be romantic love or sexual love it can be family love it can be love of your work of your life path love of a group of people I, it could be love is so huge. So when we just assume that it's romantic love, it's not quite fair to most of the people because, you know, I mean, honestly, um, not everyone is is looking for romantic love. Um, but whatever this Ace of Cups is, this Queen of Swords, this person here is not happy about the love situation. Um, let me go a little bit deeper here. Queen of Wands. Eight of Cups. And you're trying to decide, okay, are you going to walk away? Are you thinking about walking away? Are you trying to decide what's better for you to walk away from the situation, to get involved in the situation? Um, it looks like you've spent some time here. You've been involved with this somehow with this Eight of Cups. So you're trying to figure out, okay, um, what do I do and how should I do this? And, and how should I do this on a daily basis? So you're, you're in some sort of decision here about what you should do. If this is a job, I think you could be thinking about walking away and doing something on your own. If this is a relationship, you could be thinking about just walking away. I mean, you have the ability to support yourself. Um, you have the ability to support yourself. Now, this can be just friends. This doesn't even have to be like a, a love situation. This King of Swords is just probably you here trying to see the bigger picture. So, Whatever this is, I think there's more than one person here and there's a bit of a messiness and somebody is free, somebody is free and beautiful and powerful and the other person, and there's another person here, there's something about um, you that and it has to do with love or the vitality within you or a new love relationship that you have that she really doesn't like. Or maybe sh this person, whether it's a male or female, it's the queen of swords, is not finding love in his or her life and is somehow involved in yours somehow, but there's just a messy situation going on. It could be around work, it could be something within the community, could be a love relationship, but there's definitely a group of people here um, with you in the middle, and you have this sense of like, look guys, I've got it together. I have a good thing going on here. My life is great. Um, I might just ski out a lawn out of here if you guys are going to be so difficult or whatever this is. Um, you're still trying to decide what you do. You're, you could be juggling options here. You could be juggling options, juggling different jobs, juggling people. You could be going back and forth between people. It just feels like it's slightly messy. All right, let's look at what happens here in the future. What happens in the future with Scorpio? What happens in the future with Scorpio? Three of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Emperor. Princess of Pentacles. The Hanged Man. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. The Six of Pentacles in the upright. Okay, let me get in this energy. There's some conflicting energy here, my friends. All right, so we have the Three of Swords next to the Ten of Pentacles, next to the Emperor, next to the Princess of Pentacles. 
the hanged man then, the eight of pentacles in reverse. See, there's a lot of pentacles here. There's a lot of pentacles and the six of pentacles in the upright. So there's been some kind of pain. And I think you're starting to understand why that pain is there, how it got to be there. Um, what are your options to do with it? Um, there is a situation here of security and safety and abundance connected to the emperor. So there could be a job that you have that's connected to some kind of a, um, a powerful leader, or you could have a supervisor that's quite powerful. Um, you could be the supervisor yourself, um, and you could have this stability and security and legacy and, and big family and powerful family or just a lot of money connected with the emperor. Um, but there's something here. I think this is another person. Um, I, I think there's another person here I feel connected to the stability. So there it has, maybe you're, you, you're in a relationship with this person or you've worked a long time for this person. Um, or there is a lot of security with this person. This could very well be a job. Um, you could have earned a lot of money. You could have potential to earn a lot of money um, with this emperor. And I think that there's somewhat of a distraction going on here. Um, it's distracting you. It's pulling you away from your focus. It's taking you away from what you've been working on for a very long time. Um, something here with this Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles, um, there, something has stopped. Either your work has stopped or a situation has stopped. So there's going to be something here um, that takes you away from this long-term stability. It's like you gain some kind of perspective. There could be some kind of a weight as well. You might have to wait this out. You might have to look at this from all directions. Look at the pain. Why is there pain? What happened? Who's involved? Um, there's some kind of hurt here. And that hurt is connected to this Ten of Pentacles. So it could be that um, you feel like whatever this is came in and thwarted or impacted your family or impacted your future income, impacted your job, impacted your stability at work. Um, and it's going to take some time here to understand what is actually the consequence of this. What is the consequence of this invasion or this um, big picture that you're that you're trying to find? So it looks like you are are going to be working on this as you move into the future. Uh, it's going to distract you here. It's going to totally distract you from your work. It, I feel like there's going to be some kind of a conversation with the emperor. That's what I feel like. I know this is a quite specific, this is a very specific energy. So this is could possibly really have a smaller group of people relating to it. I feel like there's going to be some kind of um, communication with the emperor here. Some kind of negotiation or communication with the emperor. And there's going to be a resolution. So it could be that you're wanting to make some sort of change. You could be wanting to move to another office. If this is at work, you could be wanting to move to another department, another office. You could be wanting to change your role. Maybe you're going to go from a commission role to a salary role. Um, if this is a relationship, you're going to have some kind of conversation with the emperor energy, um, probably the masculine energy. You're going to have some kind of a relationship with him and it's going to gain its footing again, but it will be in a lesser degree. So whatever this is, the relationship is changing between the people. And I think you're going to find this new stability. I think you're going to find um, a greater sense of yourself and um, a more equ equitable situation for yourself. Um, but I think it is going to change. I think your situation will probably revise itself or there'll be something that's different. Um, as you move forward, because remember, you're going from the eight of pentacles in reverse to the six of pentacles in the upright. So, you know, with the eight of pentacles, it's an energy of learning. It's an energy of tentativeness, tentative, tentativeness. Um, it is an energy of starting at the beginning, knowing that there's a lot of abundance as a possibility for the future. Um, but starting at the beginning, there's still a lot of work to be done with the eight of pentacles, but there's eight pentacles. So there is a propensity for a lot of success here. 
Um, so you move from the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So all of a sudden, like your ability to focus on this is taken away. Your ability to really go, do a good job on this is taken away. And with this um, conversation here that you have with the emperor, I feel like something changes here. Something changes to be more fair. So maybe you're getting a better deal than you had before. Maybe your ability to look at the big picture and make good decisions about which way to go, your, uh, your ab ability to see the details of the situation and put all the puzzle pieces together so that you can see the overall puzzle, um, that could really help you in this situation because I don't see you acting rashly. I don't, because look, the hangman is here too. So you're taking some time to look at this situation. And when you do that, I think you can communicate really well. Um, you can bring forward your points in a way that they can be understood. It's going to show the emperor who understands thought and understands um, efficiency and um, digging deep into something to find a solution. I think the emperor is going to really like that you have thought deeply about this, that you could even have possible solutions here. And it looks like something is going to come out of this that's going to be helpful for you in the long run with the Six of Pentacles. Um, and we do see with the Princess of Pentacles some sort of um, improvement or some kind of indicative, it, it, there's some sort of, um, I was going to say indicative, there's some sort of improvement here that happens that's maybe not a huge improvement, but it gives you some sort of indication of improvement. So uh, I think right now there could even be a message coming forward that is a message like, okay, that's a good idea. I'm, I'm excited about this. Let's go ahead and move forward with this plan. That would be the page of pentacles. That is a message that is coming in. That's, that is real, that is substantive. Um, that's something that you can really, um, count on, or you can really rely on, or some, it has some significance to it, although it's not like a huge change. So it looks like whatever you guys do in the next, whatever time period, this, whether this is a month or a couple of weeks, it does help to settle this situation with the Six of Pentacles, it brings equality in, it brings harmony in, and we do see some sort of improvement here or something happening that gives you indications that this could be quite successful. So I think it ends well, and I think it really goes back to that King of Swords and the time that it's taken you to really understand what's going on. And then the King of Swords makes very logical, rational decisions, makes very fair decisions. Um, this is a... a um, and part of the personality that can override how you feel emotionally. So I feel like the emperor is going to really respect how logical you're being, how rational you're being, how calm and discerning you're being about um, the way that you would like to move forward. And I think that really gain that you, you really gain something in that in that attitude with the emperor. So um, I see this situation really kind of resolving itself as you move forward. I think you're going to come to the end of this in, in a good way. Let's look at what the guidance is for you. Guidance here. And this came in like this, didn't it? It came in sideways. Oh, it came in like this, I feel. It came in like that. Devil card, lateral. Knight of Swords. Six of Cups. lovers. Well, yeah, I mean, there was kind of, a, there was a situation here with the devil energy um, that looks like it's coming to an end or it was just getting started or it's on its way out. Something here is either being resolved or it's just been noticed. Um, it's, it's a sideways card. So it tells me that it's either just stopped or it's either just started or it barely started, or it was just getting going. You could have even nipped it in the bud or you could have stopped it, or it could have stopped on its own. Um, or if this is a situation of, um, somebody, um, stealing or being, or, or, or being obsessed about something or having an addiction, it's like, it's, it's, it's either stopped or it's slowed down or it's in the process of resolving itself or it's in some sort of a standstill right now. Um, and that could be because um, you, the Knight of Swords is here. So I mean, it, it, this, this could be someone coming forward and saying, um, 
this is happening. This has to stop. I see what's going on. Somebody is expressing their, their, um, somebody is expressing their thoughts, their desires, their preferences here in a very strong way, very directly, um, very powerfully. There's not a whole lot of arguing you can do with the Knight of Swords. I mean, the Knight of Swords comes forward in the truth. Now the truth might hurt. Look, he has a sword up. He has his armor on. His horse is all suited up. It's cold outside. Um, th this could really be difficult to hear this kind of a message or the person who's hearing it could have a difficult time. There could be anger involved in this scenario. Um, but, but they're saying that it's, it's, it's important now to be truthful and honest. It's important to be very direct at this point in time, to be very logical. Um, the Knight of Swords is very logical and rational, but also very quick. Um, the, there's no um, mincing of words. There's no softening of anything. It's just all logical, rational, straightforward expression, um, communication. It, it's, it, it is around some type of a partner here, some type of a soulmate or a partner or a family member. Um, there, there is some sort of toxic situation that's going on here with multiple people. And um, I even feel like this Queen of Swords could come forward like this with the Knight of Swords. It may not even be you coming forward. Somebody might come forward and um, push this into the next stage or end this in some way or say something about this. Um, but again, this is the guidance section. So I, I just feel that there, there is guidance here to be very honest, to be, be very honest and forthright um, about this. Um, this could be, again, with the Six of Cups, this could be about family or, or with a soulmate. And then this is next to the lover's energy. So with the Six of Cups, that's an energy of nostalgia, energy of being connected to family, to your family home, to the family land, um, to the family legacy. This could be about your hometown or about your community, but it could also be a soulmate, some kind of soulmate that you work with or that you um, are in a relationship with in some way or in a love relationship with. Um, there is some sort of soul energy here that is connected to this truth, that's connected to this action, this expression. Um, and I feel like there could even be a, a wistfulness or a dreaminess here um, in this energy. So, and it's next to this Knight of Swords. So I'm not sure if somebody's dreams are getting attacked or, or somebody is in defense of a soulmate or a soul path. There's somebody here speaking their truth about some sort of soul energy and an obsessive addiction kind of energy. Then we do have the lovers here, um, which is an energy of a balance. It's an energy of the yin and the yang. Um, the lovers energy could be talking about the energy within each and every one of us. Um, we have the yin and yang energy within each and every one of us. That's why we can hold all of the court cards within us and we can hold, hold the masculine court cards and the feminine court, court cards within each person. That is a yin and yang. It's a masculine and the feminine. Um, in, in other ways, the lover's energy is a representation of the lover's energy within a couple, within two people, whether they are co-workers or business partners or lovers. Um, usually when you're with another person or you, you're you in a team, you take on certain roles and you usually take on roles that complement each other, roles that are opposite of each other so that the one person's weaknesses are um, are enhanced by the other person's strengths and, and vice versa. Um, so the, another meaning of the lover's card is the ability to make a very careful, wise, balanced decision about the heart center, about love. So it does feel like there is some sort of, number one, a need to be balanced, a need to be balanced within. But number two, I just feel like there's something going on here um, between a group of people and it's necessary here to understand about human relationships, about human feelings, about being balanced and making good choices for yourself. Um, because there is a very strong connection here with the Six of Cups next to the lovers. Um, this could be a situation of, I mean, it's messy. I, I feel for it's a, it's a messy situation. So the choices here 
What kind of decision are you going to make for yourself? What kind of a decision are you going to make for your future? Are you being respected? Are you being loved? Are you being respectful? And are you being loving towards other people? And how would you like to move forward in the future? When we say we create our own reality, we truly do with the decisions that we make, the respect and the dignity that we have for our, for ourselves and the respect and dignity that we have for other people. So it's going to be important in the, in the next period of time to make a, make a wise decision or make wise decisions for your own uh, for your own future, for the health of your own mindset and the health of your own heart as you move forward in the future, because there is some sort of situation happening here that's not necessarily healthy. It looks like it's kind of at a standstill now, um, but there is um, a fast moving expression energy. And I do get like this explosive nature from this Knight of Swords connected to these people here that are in this soul dynamic that's going on here. So there's a need for balance. There's a need for deep understanding. There could be a need for healing here. A need for making good choices. Taking time out to really think about how you would like your future to be. And how will this impact your future if you continue on in the way that you would are planning to. Because something's going to happen here with this devil energy. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be a husband, could be a business partner, could be a company owner, King of Pentacles. He's, he's dreaming, he's wishing, he's optimistic, this King of Pentacles, very optimistic about something, maybe a bit in a dreamy place. Is he in kind of an illusion or is he in a kind of a dreamy place wishing upon a star? Because usually the King of Pentacles is very grounded. He's very focused on creating foundations, creating stability, creating comfort. Um, remember, the King of Pentacles, though, can very easily get into this devil energy because, um, and, and I can say this, I am, I do have a Capricorn moon, so I do have devil in my chart. Um, the King of Pentacles can work very hard. He can get himself in deep ruts. He can overwork himself. He can get caught up in all kinds of situations that are actually quite unhealthy. And there might be something here that he's involved in that is a result of some kind of rut or some kind of uh, some time of, of controlling oppressive energy that he's in that could have him in a place of really dreaming and thinking about a different kind of lifestyle or um, something different here in his life with um, the King of Pentacles with the Three of Wands. Is he trying to manifest something different here? And somebody is not happy with that? Knight of Swords. Interesting. Think about the big picture, but this is guidance. I have to remember that. The, the guidance is think about the big picture of your world. Think about the overall wealth of your world, overall comfort and security, your home, your money, um, how you're going to move moving forward. How is your retirement account going to build? How is, how is your home going? What, what is, this is, this is taking action now in an overall sense, um, of, of how you would like this to move forward, um, but also guidance here to be optimistic, but not be in an illusion because the three of wands goes over the top of the devil energy, not be in an illusion or not be in some kind of a fantasy here that you have this self-reliance, you have this individual choice, you have this strength in your life and to not give that up, to not give that up without making, without taking time to gather the information and to make a wise discernible choice is what's coming forward. I hope this makes sense. This is um, kind of an, it's kind of an interesting reading. It's, it's a little bit of, um, it, it's almost like there's a situation that needs to clear. Um, sometimes before we can clear the situation, it's almost like we're building up to a tower. And sometimes when we do that, um, the, the situation can get quite messy because it needs to clear. Something needs to change in it. And so the universe will let it get quite messy. And then all of a sudden something will come in and everything will fall apart and it will clear. It's almost like this is building up for that um, possibility in the future if this doesn't get worked out. 
Okay, my friends, I am going to take a break now, take a little rest, and I'll come back and do the extended. Um, in the extended, I'm definitely going to look more at this Three of Cups. I want to learn more about this Three of Cups, what this is. Um, I want to get this Queen of Swords perspective and see what this Queen of Swords perspective is. This is a different kind of a reading. I, I normally don't get into these kind of readings, so it's really interesting. Um, Eight of Pentacles was in reverse. I don't think I want to go in there. Um, I'm kind of interested. I'm definitely interested in what this emperor says. Um, I'm And I'm going to look at... Shoot, there's so much to look at. Well, I'll look at what the emperor says. So I'm going to look at the queen of cups, the queen of... The three of cups, the queen of swords... I'm going to look at what the Emperor says, and I want to do one more. Man, there's just so many. That's such an interesting reading. Maybe the Six of Pentacles to kind of look to figure out what the end result is going to be. Maybe this Lover's Energy. Okay, so those are the energies I'm going to dig deeper into, and then I'll look at a couple of the people around you. Um, I have a feeling since I'm doing five, it could go a little longer. So I'll probably just look at a couple of the people, but we have to um, believe that spirit will bring out the people that are most important to look into and look at what their intentions are as they move forward. So that's my plan now. So that's my plan as I go into the extended Scorpio. I hope this has been helpful. I think it's probably going to resonate with a few, with, with a smaller group of people this time, but hopefully it's been ho helpful for you. Um, I always try to bring forward optimistic and inspiring messages. Um, hopefully somehow this is going to help you through a situation. Um, I wish you all the best. I wish you love and happiness and joy and abundance as you move forward. My beautiful friends, thank you.